project did you see what's happening? No, not, not very rarely. Once in a while I'm a dismount and I can get in and see what they're doing, but most of the time I'm in the truck, uh, I, I find myself in the driver's seat more often than not. <laughs> Probably because I'm old, but they have not made that. They have not made that. Obviously, they're in there to see that you're taking that. Yes. So you can go back and forth. There's an incredible amount of responsibility with being a driver, yeah. trying to drive around the streets of Maryland and Afghanistan in general. It's just a lot different than driving around the state. Correct. So you and the gunner and the person that sits next to you, watching you everything in front of you, you're trying to keep an eye out for potential IED or Absolutely. anything that can cause harm. Absolutely. IEDs, uh, civilians walking along the side of the road, they're there's an incredible amount of speed walking and riding bicycles, and the roads are under wide here, so it's, it's mainly the drivers watching where it's going. There's not a lot of the kind of people I'm going to look at and, and look for the more obvious signs of IDs and things like that. You're talking about evil, you're talking about young children, too. Absolutely, yeah. And Absolutely. They come up and Very young, you'll see them as young as two years old on the one side of the street. They, they're not, this isn't the United States, and this is normal to them. It's not they're doing that, it's just it's normal to them. Right. Do you run into uh, goats or animals, too? Or? I don't run into anything. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, is a, there is a definite chance of running into something, and it has been, it has happened. But uh, 83 tries to uh, make as best compensation as they can to to whoever or whatever happens to. Okay, great. Appreciate that. That's a comment. Uh, I'm Sergeant Nathan Blair. I'm from uh, Thompson City, Kansas, and I'm part of our maintenance section here with ADG. Okay, and how long do you serve? I served uh, four and a half years active duty in the regular army, and then eight and a half years in the National Guard. And what do you do? Uh, back home, you mean? Or, uh, yeah. well, well, back home, it's, it's really similar to what I do here. I'm a, a civil service mechanic. I, I maintain National Guard equipment on Fort Riley. And um, here, I just you know, keep the trucks running. We go to a lot of you know, rugged areas. And without the trucks, a lot of the missions probably wouldn't be able to, to uh, be accomplished. So, you know, I like to think that I have pretty, pretty uh, the fourth part of the mission, you know, I'm not out on a lot of it. Okay. The sand obviously has to have an effect on the vehicle, especially when you go out of us having a sandstorm or something like that sounds right. Yeah. Yeah, but really we have a pretty good maintenance program here. I got I asked the radar operators to go take pride in the vehicle, so you know, we really try to <laughs> Yeah, we really try to stay on top of it and keep it running the you know, best we can. And I forgot to ask you about what you do in your, when you get back home as a veteran. Uh, I'm a, I guess the best word to describe is I'm a banker. <laughs> I work in an air conditioned office. <laughs> That's why I don't throw up. In, uh, in Oral Park, Kansas, I work for uh, PNC Bank, or Middle of Home, which is an offshoot of the PNC Bank. Yeah. Yeah. So you drive this year when you get back? Absolutely. In fact, PNC is is spot on when it comes to supporting their soldiers, their citizen soldiers. Okay.